good morning guys welcome to today i just got down to the barn late and gabby's got it all happening she's got it all going on storm time yay grass time still fly let's go it could all be worse i could be a hater like you it could oh. all be worse clothes to make the man but that poison's gonna kill you Okay, so you guys know that Chino had like a founder flare or a sensitivity to the sugar yesterday or the other day. Oh, look it. He's like, my buddies. I want my buddies. Look at how good he looks though. Aww. I love that boy. Very likely it was just too much grass too soon. He just went up to four hours and then poof, he got nuts. It was only on four hours of grass a day for a couple of days before he started to show signs of like founder or laminitis. So we were watching and making sure. Oh, look it. He wants to go with his friends. He's refusing to leave. <laughs> Listen, buddy, this is so much better. So anyways, I posted the video and we were keeping him in the indoor until our farrier comes tomorrow. Aww, Finn's not even paying attention. He just wants to go with his buddies. Um, anyways, you guys came through with such amazing words, things that I try to say, but I don't have the right words to say. So many good opinions, so many good thoughts. Like, you guys really vamped it up for me. I want to read you something. This is from T uh, Tack Hall Channel. That's the name of the commenter, Tack Hall Channel. And she says, just a little note, my horse has just almost had la laminitis. We kept her in for two days with constant access to uh, soaked hay. Uh, her feet felt very hot and she had a bounding pulse rate, which I forgot to check his pulse rate. However, when the farrier got there, the next day it was confirmed it wasn't laminitis. It was sugar overload. And I almost 100% feel like that's what it was with him, was sugar overload. Just too much, too fast for his body. Even though they've been on grass for almost a month and they're only up to four hours a day. And they have grass in their paddock, little tiny bits, so it's not like grass is even that new to them. But definitely, I think that's what our farrier is going to say too. So she goes on to say that maybe keep Chino in the field next to the boys. And I'm like, why the heck did we not think about that? Like, why, why, why? We were contemplating putting him with the little tiny ponies. This big, gigantic horse. And he could just be right next door to the boys. Molly's and in a field. Uh-oh, Molly's in a field? Uh-oh, I see it. Do you guys see it? Comment, I see it, if you see it. Do you guys see it? Yeah, I see it. Gabby must have said, get out of the field! But she must have felt okay because there was no... <laughs> get out of the field, Molly. Come on, you can do it. Keep going. Out of the field. Come on. Uh-oh. She far. can't do it. She can't do it. Help, help. It's too far for me. Aww. Uh, but you're still down there. She needed her, girl. And there's Ruby just like, why would I go in there? And there's Ruby. You're going to be in so much trouble. Oh, this is good, actually. She know eating out of the bucket. How Molly goes around the horses. She goes far around. Yeah, yeah. She's not a very good herding puppy, is she? Well, she. All right. So look at that. Peace restored to our field just because of Tack Hall Channel. She sent us that amazing message. I don't even know why. Like sometimes you get just so close to a situation you can't think it through. So basically with him out there, they'll be reunited, reunited in the afternoon when the boys go off grass. And uh, to be honest, the way our little farm is set up, there's no reason for the boys to be on grass eight hours every single day. Especially with us trying to keep their weight and stuff down. Taking Gabby a hammer. There's a pole down in the field and she spotted it. So I'm gonna take her this and see if it will work. I think it was just hey, yeah, like thank you so much, Tech Hall Channel, for your advice. And as well as like a lot of other people gave us such good advice too and encouragement. And I appreciate it. I'm free. Can't nobody take me here and now. It's my time to run it out. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time to run. sure 
the way to go. Put him out there with his friends. Oh, I feel so much better. A relief has uh, a, a huge relief off me. But anyway, so last night when we got home, Gabby and I got busy to work, and I created this. It's from an oh, old skin. Is it up at the hill? Uh, at the house? Not beating horse poop. Hey! Ah, 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 ah. No horse poop for you. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this down at the pool so that we can hang our towels on it. I would have gone for bigger hooks so that we could just throw it on. Those were the only hooks I had. I went for the cheap look. I already had them. I didn't have to buy them. I'm also going to put some like elastic or some rope and we can put our pool noodles on there too. You'll see. You'll see. And Gabby was working on our jump fill. We're going to do it for today because today we have a lesson at home. These are all of our flowers. You guys saw the girls. Well, that mom stepped off. on that flower. No, I pulled it off on the way down here trying to carry everything. No, you also stepped on Oh my goodness. What the heck? You've been pooping. That looks like Chino poop. Chino. Chino. He's gone. You guys get your arena back. She's like, yay, I want the hunky boy back. Look, we have a little river in our... It's actually skinny. Hunky, I said. Skinny. Hunky means cute. He's skinny. And well, it's fat, yeah. That's their hay for the whole day. Why don't you go let them on grass? They need to get back on the grass. They're like, oh, thank goodness. We are going for grass. Yesterday, they didn't get to go for grass. I felt really bad. Gracie's like, how am I going to get there? There's a flood. What? Jump, you're a pony, you can jump. Don't jump, it's slippery. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna walk They're like, I'll follow Gabby, I'll follow my leader. <laughs> Where's Gracie? She's coming, she had to go around. She's still stuck. Is she? No, she's got it. Heaven forbid we get our, po our pony feet wet. Or you remember our chore chart. What's our reward if we do it all? Your reward is a job well done and you also get paid. How much? How much do you get paid? Every month, how much do you get paid? I say She's charging me a million. She's negotiating her pay. She thinks she should get a million. She does not get paid for doing horse chores. She gets paid for being in our videos. Wait, there's a hole somewhere. You gotta pay your employees. That's another thing about YouTube. I don't expect my kids to ever be in a video and just be in a video and work hard and not get paid. Look. I, they both get paid for being in our videos and I is a priority for me to make sure that that happens every single time. I actually give them their own money, like a paycheck every single month because as far as I'm concerned, they need to be in charge of it. I know some parents, in our situation would buy things for their kids or like there are so many different ways to do it but I actually give them their own money I they have their own bank account they have their own bank account, bank card because a big part of homeschool for us is teaching them how to balance money and how to make good choices and how to prioritize what they need to pay and all that kind of stuff so wow it's a flood so that's why they get that's I mean, they get paid for working in our videos, but they also get their own money and have total control over it as a learning thing, as a, as a way to learn money at an early age. I think it's super good for them. I have never seen this much water in our horse field before. The whole thing is disgusting. Also, this back field is reseeding itself. It's turning into a big grass field. Which is kind of good if I could keep this a grass field for the girls. Like imagine every fall I block it off and they keep this area always grass. So every year when the summer comes, they can go out on grass. Like that would be so fabulous for them. All in moderation. A little bit of grass here and there never hurt anybody. Just like a little bit of ice cream here and there never hurt anybody. I actually should have put those hooks on this ladder because this ladder just stands up nicely against the barn. I could have put that in the back. It looks super dark. It's not supposed to rain today, but if it does, we might not get lessons. Also, I got a comment from Kara Green. I don't know if she wants me to draw attention to this or not, but she says, I wish I had as much confidence as Gabby. I can't take my hoodie off at school on a good day. And we are the same age. I was born in March, so any tips? Oh yeah, you gotta know why I got tips for that. So basically, 
you know how you you know all the time that you spend telling yourself how not good you are, how not nice your hair looks, how bad you everything like is. Gabby does spend 50 years to get ready. Yeah, just spend 50 years getting ready and then you'll be more pretty and then you will not have problems taking off your hoodie. No! <laughs> That's not the answer. <laughs> the answer is that even if you don't believe it, you're amazing. You are exactly what God planned. Like, God made you to be exactly who you are right now. So even if you don't believe it, it doesn't change anything. You're still amazing. You're still incredible. You're still all the good things that he planned for you. So instead of spending all that time talking yourself down, telling yourself how you're not perfect and how you're not like this person or you're not like that person or you wish you were like this or you wish you had this kind of hair or these kind of clothes, instead, talk yourself up and remind yourself every morning when you look in that mirror before you leave your house, I'm amazing. Like God made me exactly how I am, has a plan for me, and my life is going along exactly the way that God wanted to drive me towards the plan that he has. Like nothing is gonna change that, nothing. It doesn't matter how you feel about yourself, you're still gonna go towards that plan. Why not go knowing that you're amazing? The other crazy thing is that all people are the same. We're all the same. We are all out there searching and struggling and trying to find the people that we connect to, the people that we relate to. And the only way to do it is to just be yourself. So whip off that hoodie, go down the hall, be yourself, and then you're gonna find all the people that connect you and that make you feel good about yourself. You can't find your people if you're hiding. You just can't. And the people along the way that are not your people, pfft, just walk past them, just walk past them. Would you pick up every single thing at the store, even things that you're not interested in, uh, just because they're there? No, you only go and buy the things that you love. So just go out there and find the people that you love. Also, one last thing, and this is the craziest thing. People wanna know you for who you are. It doesn't matter if you look different. It doesn't matter if your clothes are different. It doesn't matter if your body is different. If you be true to yourself, that will come through and that is the secret ingredient to what people are looking for. People will accept you for who you are if you are yourself. If you walk with your head hung low and your hoodie up over top of you, people will understand that you want them to stay away, that you aren't feeling fit to be in a group. So you need to go out there and fake it till you make it. Fake it, sister. Pretend that you are the queen of the world. Pretend that you were a gift from God. Pretend that you are amazing, and before you know it, you will be, and everybody else will think you are too. This happened last night, well, yesterday. <laughs> um, so, now how mice chew through your clothes? Yeah. She knows the nails. <gasps> no! Where was it? On the hook. I moved it so that it wasn't on the hook so he could reach. On the next hook. I moved it to the next hook. He still reached it? He's huge. Oh, Chino. He's a little baby mouse. How many reins have we lost? I need to add reins to my new list. Do we need more reins? Yes. Oh, jeez Anybody got reins to sell? <laughs> or <gasps> Man. So, yeah, he did that. So yesterday when we were at shopping, we came home and I looked like I was trying to see where is he. he. When he was in here, all he did the whole time he was in here was stand at this door and chew everything he could reach. But I thought I moved it all far away. Gabby, you owe us some reins. You owe me reins. Okay, so it's equal. <laughs> <gasps> it's true because uh, when my last fall on beautiful Stella Bell, I broke her reins. And so yeah, now, now it's even. Which means that I gotta buy her reins. So uh, these reins are our extra pair, I guess. No, How many? Stella's. Don't yeah, these them. are Stella's reins, but nobody liked them. Nobody likes the colored reins. Even though I bought them special so that they'd be amazing. You would say Put your hands on the blue spot. No, that is why. Big to grip your hands around. Yeah, they're all too fat. Yeah, nobody likes them. Do we have I extra. I the rings. I know we saw them yesterday. Oh, yeah, I remember I used them. That's the thing about horse stuff. Like, they don't last. It doesn't always last. Yeah, it does kind of smell like Stella. We Keep it all. We should put it on her saddle. To all you guys out there that were like, you guys have too much stuff. Well, it's a good thing, because we always keep breaking it. If it doesn't rain, I don't know. It is dark. Peek. Oh. This is our jungle to the pool. And I wrenched my ankle a couple days ago, trying to cut grass through here. 
Well, hello there. <laughs> cutie pooty, cutie ponies. Belly high in the grass. All of our floaties are in their field. It's my time to run. Walking right by the shark. <laughs> Not afraid of sharks? I'm gonna have to get Sam to put a pole or something in the ground so that I can hang this up. So this is the little flower box that we're gonna put those things in and put under the jumps. It is now 11.30, the girls are just getting changed. We have to go down and make sure that the arena is not wet. There was a tornado not too far from here, a couple hours from here, two tornadoes last night. That is why there's so much rain out there. I'm waiting for the girls that are coming down to help me. Gabby's gonna set up the scoop, super scary flower jumps. The whole Chino in the field next to the boys has worked out so good. Thank you so much for your suggestions about that. Uh, I don't even know why I didn't think of that. Like sometimes I feel like I have so much going on in my brain that not everything actually goes through my brain. Move to me, yeah. and rising to the top was my destiny. Yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me, but I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go. It could all be worse, I could be a hater like you. It could oh. all be worse. Who's the big man, but that boy that's gonna kill you. Definitely terrifying. Good job, Gabby. Way to terrorize your horses. We ran out of grass. Here's my question. Is it ever too windy to ride? Is there a certain amount of wind? Besides a hurricane or a tornado, obviously. So usually I try and have some snacks here for like when coaches come, I have nothing. So I'm gonna run and get those right now. All right, I have orders. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. This is what everybody wants. Cheese bread, Oreos. Okay, so I ran to the store to get treats for the coach. Like, I like to give my coach something, coach something to eat and something to drink when she comes. Um, uh, the girls put in an order, I got a bunch of snacks, and it's 15 minutes till ride time. Like, 15 minutes till the coach is gonna be here and the girls are gonna be riding. I always complain that they have no time management skills. I went to the store to get them snacks. I came back, it's 15 minutes until we have to go and the horses are all out of the field. The girls are already tacking up. Like, I'm so proud of them. Like, sometimes I doubt myself and all the things that they're learning, but homeschool really helps with real life stuff and they really get life now. Like, they are really getting life. All right, let's see what they're doing. Door! Oh, hello, Stormy Boy. You guys gotta hurry because. What did you get? I need Wait, energy. Come here, I'll show you. Almost done with Finney's mane. Oh, it looks gorgeous. You better get tacked up. Fiona's gonna be here in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Come over. Oh, energy snacks. All right, oh, let me show you. Cheese so, some stuff is for for Fiona because I call, I messaged her and asked her. You guys see this look at Fiona. No, this is our. This is cheese. It's buns instead of bread. But look at how fresh it is. I want that. So we got cheese bread. Yes. Smart food popcorn. Yes. Apple this juice is Fiona. Fiona. Put it in the freezer so it gets cold. Oh Henry bar. She asked for O Henry, so I got her this little bag of O Henry, her own bag, and then all of us get a bar. Skittles for Fiona? Yeah, too bad. I don't like my kids eating this kind of sugar because it's like really strong okay, sugar. Oreos. Yeah, Oreos. Okay, we're gonna have some O Henry. Okay, you can have an O. Henry bar. And then you need to tack up and get ready to ride. You're getting this because you're brave. Even though it's windy and you're nervous, you know that your that horse will be okay. That guy not be still doing tractor. Yeah, there's a guy driving his tractor. Hopefully he's done. We also have water, but that's what I ended up getting. You want chocolate Since bar? Rain is done. Okay, get and your- And look at Storms, I cut his. I love your hair in a bun. You like, look so bad. Look me, got straight my hair. So you tomorrow she's doing my makeup. Oh, beautiful. You look gorgeous. Yeah. When he ever comes look, look, he's feeling like the laziest he's ever felt. I'm gonna oh, I look cut at it you! It there and it was gross. I'm like, cut. So, um, me. Actually looked thick for once right Listen, there. me and who all are hoot? 
Owl Holler. Me and Hoot Owl Holler have decided that no matter what, Gracie's keeping her long, beautiful, gorgeous mane. No. Yes, she's keeping it. Fiona, Kaylee, and I disagree. Come on, who? Uh, holler owl. You gotta chime up in the comments there and fight for Gracie so she gets to keep her beautiful. It's mine. Yeah, it looks... This part's a little short because it went to the other side, so I tried to brush it, but mm. it's down more than oh. it was Oh, so if it's wet, it would all be the same. Uh-huh. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, I mean, I do like a long mane. I'm not too long. We're gonna get going. We're, we're chopping Gracie's mane. We're not chopping we're Gracie's not mane. For a super windy day and being on grass all morning, these boys be looking tired. I think it's nap time for a storm. Is it nap time? Also, kind of freaking out about all the dirt that's on these stairs halfway up because there was no dirt there before. And all I can see is Chino trying to climb up up those stairs when we weren't here because he is a troublemaker like that. He gets into stuff. Now imagine we came home from shopping yesterday and Chino was up there. What the heck would we do? He'd have to sprout wings and fly down because otherwise he'd be staying up there. Oh, Finny, you need a good brush. There's you are wet. You're getting a treat, don't worry. I have Oreos. People treats before horse treats. You're supposed to give him a horse treat first. He did all the work. <laughs> Having Fiona here really helps me a lot. I'm able to discuss stuff with her. She told me how to like, I told her I'm gonna take the boys off the grass on Monday, switch them to the new field. And then she said like cut the field that, that, that they're in right now. So it'll be all nice and grow fresh again. And yeah, like we can talk about all the things that were yeah. like all my plans. Yeah. Talked about Chino, what the plan is for him. Oh, After he gets his shoes on, we'll probably be able to ride him again. It's gonna be a whole new thing. We've never ridden him with shoes on before. It's gonna be exciting and fun. Lots um, of fun things happening. She also thinks we're gonna get a show because where we live is supposed to be opening more in July, July 1st. Move to me, yeah. and rising to the top was my destiny. Yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me, but I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly.